New reports revealed the original whistleblower form had been doctored to allow secondhand accounts less than a month before the leaker accused President Trump of wrongdoing. When Rick Schnell Rian has the details from the White House. Another piece of the Ukraine story crumbles for the Democrats in what appears to be a growing correlation between disintegrating evidence and Democrat passion for impeaching President Trump. In this latest development, federal documents reveal the whistleblower form was altered the month before the complaint against Trump broke. This alteration was no small detail. The form, officially called Disclosure of Urgent Concern, was found to have undergone a mysterious secret revision in August. The original form required that in order for a whistleblower to be considered a whistleblower, they had to have first-hand information. Fast forward to the new whistleblower form, the bold letters first-hand information required was gone. Under this now missing bold headline, was the following requirement. The IG cannot transmit information via the Whistleblower Act based on an employee's second-hand knowledge of wrongdoing. This entire section of the form was outright removed and under opaque circumstances. The so-called Ukraine whistleblower was ultimately found to not have heard the information firsthand, but this alteration of the form allowed the individual to come forward as a, quote, whistleblower. Veterans in the intelligence community say when a policy this big is altered this drastically, it is no coincidence. The next question becomes, who would have overseen this mysterious change? Q CIA Director Gina Haspel. Not only would she have known of the change in the document, CIA veterans tell me Haspel is very likely to have authorized the change herself. Haspel has long held suspicious ties to one of President Trump's most vocal critics in the intelligence world, Obama CIA chief John Brennan, a reported Muslim convert and a liberal communist. Brennan is one of Trump's most influential haters, vocally expressing his disdain for the president almost daily. It turns out now CIA director Haspel was handpicked twice for chief of station London by John Brennan himself. A second posting is highly unusual in the diplomatic world. Her time as station chief in London coincided with the manufacturing of the now infamous steel dossier right there in London. Another rabid anti-Trump former intelligence member was the FBI's Peter Strzok, who made multiple personal trips to London. Intel community notes that this too was highly unusual for a person of his position. Underlings were usually tasked with such trips. Inside sources say that Haspel and Strzok would have had a working relationship. But the anti-Trump connections don't end there for Haspel. Two of John Brennan's main three lieutenants, known as his closest aides, are now working directly for Haspel. One was pulled out of retirement to be placed on her team. As Congress and the public start questioning the suspicious circumstances surrounding the Ukraine leaker's story, some members of the intel community say it is only a matter of time before some not too coincidental connections could reveal the CIA's role in a potential conspiracy to oust the president. Chanel Rion, One American News, the White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.